I am Anil Kumar and here is a very short video on understanding factorial notation. So we will talk about n factorial. This exclamation mark is the factorial notation. Now when we say n factorial, what does it mean? The definition is right there. Product of all positive integers up to that number. That is what factorial really means. So it is a short form of writing product of consecutive numbers. For example, if I have 5 factorial, it really means you could multiply all positive integers means from 1 onwards to that number means 2, 5. So 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5. That is 5 factorial, right? So that is how we get a short form of writing factorial. Well, you could write in the reverse order also. For example, if I want to find what is 7 factorial, you could write like this. 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, right? So that becomes 7 factorial, right? In general, if you are writing n factorial, n factorial really means multiply numbers from 1 to n, right? So 1 times 2 times, 3 times, 4 times, and so on, times n minus 1 times n, right? So remember, n has to be a positive integer, right? So, so we are saying n belongs to natural numbers, basically, right? So that is what factorial notation is. Now whenever we say n factorial, it could be written in the reverse order, which is normally the order it is written. So let me write, rewrite n factorial as, I'm writing now as n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times and so on uh, till, till 1, right? So it could be times 2 and then till 1. So up to 1. So 1 to n or n to 1 is one of the same thing. So product of all positive integers up to that number is n factorial. Now from the last statement, we can actually write down a very interesting uh, statement or equation. n factorial, as you can see here, can also be written as n times n minus 1 factorial since this part here is kind of n minus 1 factorial. Do you see that? So this is a very interesting way of writing a factorial in terms of other factorials. So what I have written here is n factorial could be written as n times n minus 1 factorial. Now we'll take advantage of this way of representing factorials in the coming examples and here is a very interesting question for you what is 0 factorial equals to right so this is another very interesting case which we need to consider so in the following videos we'll explore more about factorials and their notation i hope you appreciate it thank you i hope it helps you to understand the very basic concept once you do few questions you can master this notation. Thank you and all the best.